Naturally. We can't keep calling her the child. And the specimen, while accurate, seems cruel. I simply have no aptitude for such a task. Hence, I have tasked all of you with finding a suitable name for the child in my stead. Go to. Go to. <laughs> well, I hate to brag, but I'm a pretty darn good name for uh, things and stuff. <sighs> well, that seems uh, ominous. Hmm. Let us see here. Bam! Got it! Norami! Uh, no. What do you mean, no? You got a better idea? I didn't say that. Why should I have to... <laughs> I found you out, sister. You're afraid, aren't you? You got no style. I most certainly am not afraid, you brute. Um... Well, she could be, uh... Shio. Yes, yes, that's perfect. And precisely what I was gonna say. Thank you, Shio. You're such a liar. Shame. If we can't think of anything, let's go with Narami. Shio. Is Shio already your name? Yeah, Shio. Well, it appears this was a vain exercise. The child has already been christened. Very well, then. Shio it is. What? Come on. You sure you don't want to be Narami? It's pretty cool. Nope. Yeah, work with me here. Our monsters, yes, and they all share a certain trait. We refer to it as their bias. You follow? It's an origami's coding. Their predatory nature. Our god arcs have the same thing. That's how they innately know to devour. Correct as usual, Alyssa. These sorts of things are second nature to a god-eater of your caliber. Wait, what? Of course. This Aragami's bias is unlike any before. It has predilection only toward beasts of a higher order. As far as she's concerned, we puny humans don't even register as a kind of food. You see, this is the common misconception. Aragami aren't simply born with the characteristics of other life forms. Not at all. They simply advance at a breakneck pace as they devour more and more each day. As a result, all the possibilities of evolution are condensed into such a short period of time. Choices and change come rapidly, and those moments make an origami precisely what it is. So you're telling me that this child... Exactly! As all humankind did, she found a set of skills and stalled there in her process. It's quite remarkable, really. She's an origami evolving in the same way a human might. This child is both. An origami and a human? Yes. Well, no. Uh, well, based on the examinations I ran earlier, her cranial nerves and synapses, uh, oracle cells acting as cranial nerves and synapses, function precisely as a human's might. She has an incredible capacity to learn, clearly as evidenced by her use of language, and she holds much potential. All right. So, Doc. Yes, Coda? I think I followed along and got the gist. Okay, it was over my head. But regardless, I'm a little confused. So she talks a lot about food, about being hungry. What exactly do you think she means? Food, because you know it's a little ominous. The bias of an aragami dictates its dinner choices. As a rule, they will not partake of anything like unto themselves. You understand? That said, in times of dire need, uh, now, they'll gobble up anything they can get mitts, paws, or claws on. <laughs> Survival comes first, after all. Of course, that's just an exception to the rule, as all good rules must have. <laughs> uh, the word aragami is actually merely an epithet for the creatures. It emerged shortly after their arrival. Many of these monsters appeared in the shape of gods or godlike beings. And here's the rub. What thought process, what evolutionary trick caused them to adopt such forms? They emulate creatures humanity has worshipped for ages. And how did we come to worship them? This origami child bucked that trend. She managed to instead emulate a human. It's beyond rare. It's unheard of. But I digress, and I ramble, and I think you were all well and thoroughly matched by this study group. So I leave you with this, and I think it best. Let's keep this little secret amongst ourselves, hmm? No need to let the news get out and about. Doctors certainly will have to report to the advisor, to the director. Miss Tachibana, you are an exalted god-eater, a stalwart defender of humankind, noble and brave. Do you mean to tell your superiors that I, in your trust, stole an origami, smuggled her to the forward command, and planned to keep her? Well, I, well, um... No, but why? Did I not mention that? I thought I mentioned that. Because she's a valuable sample. Simply perfect to further my own personal research. Nothing more than that, really. Very simple. Oh, fret not. I've taken great pains to ensure this section has unique communications and offset security protocols. It's very, very safe.
And I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone to pry into your, shall we say, private affairs, Miss Tachibana? Not to mention that you are already on the hook as my accomplices. Best to simply go along with it, yes? <laughs> yes. I am hungry. Most important, I believe that the young girl needs some friends. I feel she will find a particular affection for you, Soma. You are out of your mind. She may play pretend well, but she is not a human, just an approximation. She's still a monster on the inside. Now the question. Naturally, we can't keep calling her the child and the specimen. While accurate, it seems cruel. I simply have no aptitude for such a task. Hence, I have tasked all of you with finding a suitable name for the child in my stead. Go to. Go to. <laughs> well, I hate to brag, but I'm a pretty darn good name for uh, things and stuff. <sighs> well, that seems ominous. Hmm. Let us see here. Bam! Got it. Norami. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? You got a better idea? I didn't say that. Why should I have to... Huh. I found you out, sister. You're afraid, aren't you? You got no style. I most certainly am not afraid, you brute. Um, well, she could be, uh, Shio. Yes, yes, that's perfect. And precisely what I was gonna say. Thank you, Shio. You're such a liar. Shame. If we can't think of anything, let's go with Narami. Shio! Is Shio already your name? Yeah, Shio. Well, it appears this was a vain exercise. The child has already been christened. Very well, then. Shio it is. What? Come on! You sure you don't want to be Narami? It's pretty cool. 